Welcome to the next generation mini hydraulic excavator how-to series of videos. Today we're going to be looking at how to tilt up the cab on a cab or a canopy machine. Now we're not just going to be looking at how to tilt it up, we're also going to be showing you how to get absolute maximum access to all the components in the machine for when you need to do a major service or repair. Now you don't have to tilt the cab or canopy on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. You only need to tilt the cab or canopy on a major service or repair. As for the daily service access doors, uh, you just walk around the machine and open those up as and when needed. In order to tilt the cab or the canopy, you only need three tools. Two 24mm wrenches, one being a ratchet wrench and the other one being a 16mm socket. Using your 16mm socket, you loosen the two bolts from the panel and remove the panel. Set the panel to one side. Then you have a bolt system on here exactly the same way as a skid steel loader. Using your two wrenches, you loosen up the bolt and remove the bolt and washers. Once again, exactly the same system that you have on a cat skid steel loader cab. Just put the bolt back on, keep the washers for safekeeping. You'll see I've already done the other side of the machine. Once the cab or canopy is unbolted, using the gas assisted struts, you push it up until the safety brace locks itself in place. Now even though the cab is up in the air and secure, you'll see that we have a little bit of sway in it. So we actually have a sway bar that we can place into the cab and into the holder here to take the sway out of it whilst you're working on the machine. We have one bolted access door on the side of the machine. Uh, once again, it's got 16 millimeter bolts, so you use that 16 millimeter wrench to loosen all three bolts. And once you remove the bolts, you now have access to the hydraulic tank. We keep that bolted to stop anybody from accessing it unnecessarily at any time. Once your hydraulic door is open, you use your cat key to access uh, the side panel here. This gets you into the uh, hydraulic valve. Now, if you need to replace the battery, you will need to tilt the cab to do that. However, you just need to jump start the battery. We do have an access panel inside the cab. Then at the rear of the machine, we have a lockable engine access door. Make sure that you put the clip in to stop the wind grabbing a hold of it. And finally, on the right hand side of the machine, you have another lockable door, which gives you access to the cooling package to inspect it and in order to be able to clean it. We hope you found this how-to video beneficial. Remember, you only need to tilt the cab or canopy for major service or repair. You do not need to tilt it on a daily, weekly, or even a monthly basis. For your daily checks, all the doors and panels around the side of the machine open very easily. For further information on the next-gen mini hydraulic excavators, contact your local cat dealer or look out for more how-to next-gen videos on YouTube.